Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Today I am going to do a breakdown video of my, uh, what I call my 15 C's plus uh, primary survival pack. This, unlike the uh, earlier video I did breaking down that large pack, this is one that I've actually set up specifically for outdoor survival. So if I'm going to be out uh, somewhere trekking around the woods where I'm not familiar with, this is what I'm going to be taking with me. So uh, here it is. It's a uh, Camelback Uproar. Uh, it's a discontinued model, but uh, I'm going to check before I post this video and see if the place that I got it still has them because uh, because it's discontinued, they got them really dirt cheap. So if so, I'm going to put that link up in the annotations. So let's go inside, break this pack down, see what's inside it. Okay, we're in the house now. We're all changed. Uh, probably not going to get in the frame too much because I'm sweating like a beast from being outside filming with the warm clothes on and I forgot to turn the heat off in the house. So we're going to check this pack out. I caught my 15 C's pack because I have tried to at least have 15 C's. And that's the 10 C's and the 5 redundant C's. And we're going to check myself live here. I have not checked this bag out. So, you know, there's no, no crying in baseball and there's no cheating on Prepared Mind 101. So. I'm going to test and see if I live up to having my stuff packed right, and if I fail, I fail live on camera. So, there is one one of the 15 C's I'm a little concerned about uh, that I might have switched around, but it's probably uh, out of the 15, the one I'm worried least about. So, right off the bat, let's do like we did the other video and work from the outside in. Got a lot of tools up here in the front. What I'm going to do... As I got my little smartphone, smartphone survival tool, and we'll mark these out as I get them. So we got our compass and our sighting mirror right here. <clears throat> got a right in the rain notebook. Got a rescue blanket, which that can count as cover. This is one of my C's, super glue. And I spell super with a C. I know that doesn't make sense, but hey, I like super glue, it's important. Candling device. This is a little 9 LED, uh, 9 volt flashlight that you can find on eBay real cheap. If you get one of these and slap it on a lithium uh, 10 year uh, smoke alarm battery, it'll last you a long time. And then just wrap it up nice and tight with some bright orange electrical tape so you can find it. Uh, this this is a good one to have in your pack. Okay, right here I've got my Leatherman Blast, which is going to count as a cutting tool. And it's going to count as a combustion device. So I have all that in there. <clears throat> Doing good so far. Let's open this up. Got a, a small fire kit that I made. It's sealed up. I'm not going to unwrap it, but it's got a lot of wet fire. Uh, it's got a little, uh, I forget what it's called, uh, st just a little uh, flint striker that can light stuff. I got, I got a bunch of different things in here. I might even have a spare ferro rod in there. So that's going to count toward my combustion. Okay, here's some cordage. This looks like uh, 165. Uh, test bank line and this is about the 240 test bank line so we're going to mark that off there and that's just in first pocket okay here's another uh, spare lithium battery for that flashlight so so far so good I do keep a climbing rated binder on my pack uh, just so I can carry extra things but I also have one of these instructor belts that can double as a safety harness. If you need to do some sort of climbing like on, uh, you saw with the mine shaft on dual survival third season, eh, we're not, we're not going to get into that. So let's go a little bit further. Right here I've got a dry bag. I think this is a 5 liter outdoor research dry bag. It's a very good one. So not only can I keep stuff dry, but I can use this to collect water. 
Okay, there's one cotton bandana, but I tend to use a shema, if I said that right. Uh, it's just more coverage and you can do a lot more with it. And a spare t-shirt in blaze orange for visibility for rescue. Pick that up in one of Dave's videos. Up here in the top pocket, keep some hygiene essentials. So I've got my washcloth and I've got some Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap in there. Where I preach that in, the, in another video. Uh, one thing people look, overlook is the hygiene aspect and how much that can help you psychologically in a survival situation just to be able to clean yourself up. Uh, spare sunglasses. Ah, that's one I was worried about. Well, it's not the sail needle specifically, so it's kind of like a 50 50. Uh, my sail needle is taped on the back of my Navy Mark I, but I do have some. Uh, needles in here and they're curved so they could be used for suturing or repairing any kind of equipment. Now, we'll go ahead and stop this. We're going to fade out for a minute because I've learned with this camera that I'm currently using, if I go a little bit too long, it's going to shut off on me. So be okay, right back. back. Still working on this pack. Let's go over here to the side. This is my favorites. This is my steel bottle water kit. Now what I do is I get the 32 ounce stainless steel Nalgene bottle, which good luck finding one, but they will produce some more at some point. And then I get this, uh, I think it's called a quick sip lid on another Nalgene bottle. I take it off of that one and add it to this one. And it has, you know, a drinking spout that you can flip out or a pour spout. Now inside this, I've got my compact water filter that I detailed in another video. This one right here. I've got a Light My Fire spork. I've got another cloth. This is actually a head wrap. Wrapped up in there. I have some more eating utensils. I've got the straw that fits in the lid. I have three packs of low calorie Gatorade G2 powder just so you have something else you can drink. Now, if I want to boil some water, you always want to boil water and then filter it if you're going to do both. But I've got the uh, fish mouth spreaders, it's another one of the best Dave Canterbury tricks ever. Which put that in there and that serves as a bale so you can actually get it in and out of the fire better. I can actually take somewhere my s binders and hook it on here and tie a line to it so I can do different things for adjusting it in and out of the fire however I want to do it. So did we get our container marked off? Let's check. Container. Okay. Moving on, over here on the front we've got a compass. Okay, a little uh, Hollywood editing magic there. Let me back that up here. Uh, I didn't have to. I didn't need to mark off the compass because we already have the compass. So we have a little bit of a re compass redundancy that just stays attached to the pack. Okay, inside the main compartment, I keep some gloves. I like to have the. Uh, the mittens that fold back into the half finger, they just seem to work better for outdoor purposes for me. A little more redundancy with the candling device, uh, and specifically what the 10 C's calls for is a headlamp. So what we do have in here is a headlamp that I keep stocked with lithium batteries. Got some uh, Lipton compass soups. Here is the micro stove. I mentioned this in the other pack video. I have two of these. They were really, really cheap on eBay, but they are not made cheap. They are really well constructed. And I think I only paid like 10 bucks for this thing. And it's 
kind of equivalent to a MSR pocket rocket with the added addition of having the built-in ignition. So I can start fires with this, I can boil water with this, I can cook my food with this. Just that thing works awesome. If you can find one of them, I think it was uh, listed under like ultra light or light backpacking stove. You'll know it when you see it. It's got the uh, orange box on it on eBay. But make sure in your search uh, selections that you search only for uh, USA suppliers because there are ones overseas that sell this. And if you click on that one instead you're gonna be waiting a while to get it okay got some more cordage got a roll of bank line this is a wool tube bandana military surplus I think it was Swedish or Swiss or something uh, it's quite large you can double it over you're not gonna get cold if you wear this thing on your head or you can wear it as a scarf what else we got in here uh, paracord. Don't want to just rely on bank line. Got a, I think I got about a hundred foot of paracord there, and I have two 55 gallon uh, drum liners, uh, probably about two mil, that can count as my cover. I can crawl in that, or I can spread it out and make something. Now, <clears throat> in the back portion here, I don't always fill this up when I am going out in the woods, but I do bring it with me. Uh, if I need to, I can fill it up, or I can boil water, and then pour, after it cools down, pour it in the reservoir to load myself up. And this is a Camelback Omega Reservoir. If you're getting a uh, hydration reservoir, this is the best one you can get. Uh, some of the cheaper Camelbacks have some issues. Uh, I've seen on the reviews with the threads leaking. This is the same one that the military uses. When you order it, it comes complete with the on-off valve, the disconnect, the, uh, the big bike valve, and the neoprene cover for the tube. And this is a Camelback pack, so it is set up for it. Got my primary cutting tool, my BK7, BK14. This one always stays with this pack. Okay, 15 C's. Got my secondary cutting tool. This is my Baco Laplander, this was one of the notable missing items from the other video with the other pack. I didn't have one of my saws with me. I knew I, I mentioned it in that video, I knew it was in this pack. More cover. This is a grabber uh, all-weather blanket in blaze orange, so it has that extra value of signaling. Uh, you can use it as cover, you can use it as a backstop to reflect the fire's uh, heat energy, keep you warm. That's some of the uh, tarp clips that I mentioned in another video that I can MacGyver some stuff up with. Winter, I always keep some of these uh, toe warmers. When your feet get cold, you start having problems and that's going to throw you off. And they, Especially if you start sweating in your boots and whatnot, the Simplest fix for that, if you don't, if you're out there and you don't have stuff that you can change into, is just to activate one of these things and stick them in your boots. So even if your feet are getting wet, at least you're not getting cold. Now we're gonna take a quick break here, just uh, because of the time of the camera, and then we might get into the last part of this uh, bag. Okay, and we'll into the last part of the bag, side pocket. This is where I generally keep some of my medical stuff. Pull this out. For hygiene purposes, I've got one of these uh, fresh to go uh, toothbrushes. It's got the toothpaste in the handle. You just crank it and it pushes it up through the bristles. So that one hasn't been used yet. Got some eye wash. Got the crystal deodorant. Uh, last two months that I noted in another video. I've got some organic cayenne ground uh, or organic ground cayenne pepper. So not only can you use this for spicing up your food, but it's also really effective at stopping bleeding uh, if you cut yourself real good. Got some acid reducer, eat something out, it's kind of messing with your stomach. Uh, these are some uh, prescription eye drops that I 
that I take, uh, some more antacids, some gauze pads, and then a whole complete uh, mini first aid kit that I put together. And this was, I made this with a travel soap box. No, this was a, uh, wasn't a soap box, it was a cream cheese box. I found this at Big Lots. I thought that would be perfect for a small first aid kit, and it was. Uh, so I've got, got uh, the ibuprofen, I've got, you know, the anti-burn, burn cream, super glue, just about everything you need for minor injuries in that. So how did we do? Let's take a look here. Okay. Did I have a second container in here? Well, I didn't have a second uh, stainless steel container. I did have a uh, Camelback reservoir, so we're going to count that as a half. Uh, sharpening device. Ooh, got me there. I've got several of them, and I think I took it out the other day because I was using it. I did not put it back. So we're going to do a big strike on that one. We're going to do a big strike on the iodine. Do not know where, why my iodine is not in here, but that is definitely a strike. So I'm going to have to remedy that. I know I have several bottles of it, so I'll just have to replace it. Uh, second cutting tool, got that. And the other big one, uh, out of the 15 C's, that I am currently missing is I do not know where my slingshot bands are. So all in all, it's definitely enough to survive with. I call it 15 C's pack and there was a couple things that were missing. Uh, none of the real super duper critical ones. I mean iodine, that's for disinfecting cuts and purifying water. Well, I've got two methods of purifying water here and I've got other methods of disinfecting cuts. So not too bad there. Slingshots, slingshot bands I don't have and I don't have the actual sail needle but I do have the needles that I can repair with and I can actually suture with those needles as opposed to uh, just working on some big heavy stuff so there we go that's my mid-size pack this is generally what I'll take out with me and uh, I thought I did pretty good at not overloading it like I tend to do with some of my stuff. I've actually got a lot more room in there where I can add some extra clothes or whatnot. So that is the uh, mid-size 15 C's pack breakdown. And you saw how I did live, messed up a little bit. So we always got to learn to improve ourselves and check ourselves regularly. And don't just assume that you have what you need. Always check your stuff before you go out. So that's it. Uh, Chris with Prepare Mind 101. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to my videos, like us on Facebook, and please help me get the word out. Share some of these videos uh, with other people that you know. Let, let them know that I'm out there and I'm building a channel and I'm trying to put out content as uh, quickly as I can that still is worth watching. So thanks a lot, guys. Addendum. Putting, this, putting my stuff back. Found the duct tape, so marked that one off, and it was wrapped around a spare lighter, which I have kind of strapped with a uh, uh, nylon. What the hell is this thing called? I don't know. I'm losing my mind right now. But I've got it strapped off, uh, so the button can't be depressed and accidentally lose all the fluid while it's in the pack. So, just wanted to throw that in there, so that's just a little bit less fail in my pack than I originally thought.